realize how much you suck. I really love these. Hey, Jimmy. Why not? How fast can you stuff losers oh, yeah. into lockers? We need, like, snack bread and tea break. anyone yet today. You know you're not allowed to do this. Why am I so attacked? I've got performance anxiety. <laughs> Get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> <She's gross. laughs>
got my eye on you. I was just looking for one of those. Use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth. It'll last for a month. I don't understand why the world can't live up to my. And that's that. Why would Mr. Hendrick go here? Man, how on. Score teams too many to be on. All rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Huh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? I'm just under a lot of pressure. Ugh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sat. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk, and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do.
you to wait. they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miss. Please, take this. <laughs> I should teach lessons or something. If I didn't have a strained wrist, you'd already be dead. I found a toenail. <laughs> I can use this to my advantage. it. 
my prize hmm there's a little problem your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible tell you what old chap we'll give you that old abandoned beach house should be nice once you clean it up My work here is done. My life is completely empty. Friends first. I'm back here. What's up? Get that badly dressed social I reject out of here. Moves. Give up in this. I have class. You know we can't associate with you until you wear some proper clothes, huh? You know we can't associate with you until you wear some proper clothes, huh? You should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye, and thanks for shopping at Aquaberry. You know, I could sell you all... Greaser girls are you easy. Want to. They have to be. Yes, because they're so low class. Officer Munson?
Look, there he is. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice Aquaberry sweater. Trey Sheik. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You look a bit like my gardener at home. Yeah, so what? Yes, well, enough uh, about uh, gardeners yeah. or any domestic help. Listen, me and the champs were planning a little revenge hit on old hat trick. We don't like what he did to that old Soak Galloway. A chap could have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. So? <laughs> so, my friend, are you, as they say, in? Sure. Are you English? Well, no, I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. You see, my father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But less about me, dear boy. Listen, we're going to egg that old codger's house. Cool. Smashing! You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. Got the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. Smashing. Now tell me, Hopkins, is it true you said I was inbred? No. Because first cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've, you, you've been rude about mommy. Let's get this, Papa. Inbred, you're am I?
How'd that happen? 